We had a great sit down chat with Mark and there's a lot of stuff that he covered with our journalist Pete McLaren in the interview. It is available on Christ.net to read now. And this video is just going to discuss some of the points that we discussed with Mark and his answers. First place to start, it was a question that was asked by Pete around Valentino Rossi and Mark Marquez, of course. Mark is one world title away from equaling Rossi's record of nine. It was asked how much this actually motivates him. Marquez said, at the moment, I'm not thinking about matching the record because I'm far from my level and I cannot approach next season like I will try to win the title. It's already two years that I'm not winning a single race. So with that statistic, you can't approach from one season to the next. Now, I will win the championship. First of all, I need to build the confidence build the base and then from that base start to be faster and try to improve for the future. It's a very safe answer from Mark. I think that not even the the, the possibility of trying to beat or equal Valentino Rossi is in his mind. I think he doesn't need that. His own motivations and himself as a competitor I think way outweigh the need to try and beat Rossi's record. Although some will disagree with that. I think he's so driven himself that no matter what happened in his career from the age of 15 to where he is now the mentality has always been the same and of course yes everything that happened in the past with Rossi might fuel something a little bit more but I think that was a different mark you know the mark of 2020 who came into the season as the favorite he would be willing I think to be motivated by the Rossi record but as he mentioned a few years on everything that's happened, he's kind of grew into a different person, he's matured a lot more, and yeah, it's all about just getting back to winning ways, and I don't think the Rossi motivation is really a part of that now, there's a motivation within of himself, you know, he has self-doubts himself about his ability, and if he can get back to winning ways, and we'll see that next year, when he's on the best machinery. So a very good answer, but it's very complex, there's a lot of different things inside Mark's head that I think, you know, play into this. He is, in my opinion, the most talented rider we have on the grid. But the fact that he's doubting his own talents, very, very, very interesting for someone that's such a high level athlete in their sport. You know, it just shows the amount of doubts that goes through their head, especially after the rocky couple of seasons that Mark has had. Then he was asked what he thinks is going to happen next in his career. The answer I thought was a great answer. It was very open about what he thinks during a race weekend when he has a crash. Just a little insight into his mentality. He went on to say, We will see. I never sit at the table and think back on my career because it's true that it has been a special career because I've experienced all different kinds of moments that you can have. But for me, my career is also very similar to the life of a normal person. It will never be all roses. Sometimes you must go out of your comfort zone and try. I'm a person that must try. I say many times after a crash, yeah, I crashed, but I tried, and now I will sleep well tonight. In my career, when I will retire, I want to be able to think, okay, I tried everything to do my best. I don't want to look back and have doubts about, for example, now, whether the move or to change team. No, I've done everything that I felt that was right in that moment. I did a few mistakes, of course, and I will continue doing mistakes. But the most important thing is that when I retire, I don't have any doubts about my decisions. A very, very open answer. I think you, you get a sense of sometimes when these riders are throughout a race weekend, they get asked so many of the same questions. They don't really elaborate on their points. I think we've got a really good answer here from Mark. It's the what if. He doesn't want to retire knowing that he might have left something on the table. And the fact that he's made such a big move, moving away from his comfort zone at Honda, to then try something completely different away from his team, a fresh start, you know, 10 years into his MotoGP career. It's a very long time. Fair play to Mark Marquez and I think but this interview shines a really good light on him and how he thinks as a writer and a person. And it shows you, you Mark Marquez the person and Mark Marquez the writer are very different people. And we got Mark Marquez the person. You know, I think that's a very good, open, honest interview that we had with him. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to give the interview a read on our website. 
I'll link it in the bio below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time.